Hey, everybody, it's Andy. I'm here with John Mayer from Life with John Mayer. Hey, John. Hey, Andy, how are you? Great. You know, both of our channels are expressions of our musical sensibilities. And I thought it would be fun for us to come together and see where our musical sensibilities meet. Where does the Venn diagram overlap? Exactly, Mm -hmm. yes. So, you know, I, I was listening to Life with John Mayer the other night, and I heard Into the Groove come on yeah madonna yeah. and i was so psyched to hear madonna i got lots of madonna. life with Ma- you do yeah so that's you know she's my most played artist so i wanted to know about your intersections with madonna madonna do you do you have a favorite madonna song i do have a favorite madonna tell me song. what it is well let me first say that a lot of the music from the late 80s early 90s that we thought was so far and ahead of its time turns out to just be variations on classic R&B. Okay. You know, and Madonna, the provocateur, yeah. she always has been with videos that are uh, always titillating. You forget that like the songs are just these great modern R&B tunes. I think I know what you're leading to. Well, but this could be a lot of them, but what the, my favorite Madonna song is Cherish. Okay. You didn't see this coming. No, I thought it was going to be Rain. Rain, I do love. Yes, but, yeah. But, but rain is a moody. Yeah, I got to be in the mood for rain. Okay, but cherish is really kind of a Motown song. Yeah, but you don't know it because there's so much other art happening on yeah. top and around the song. So the thing for me is when you get into the chords of cherish, the bass line. Now I'm going to get a little musical. Good. Up. The bass line is what makes it so interesting. Whoever the bass player is picks these really interesting notes that are still in the key and in the chord, but really push the emotional thing forward. And that's what I listen to every time.